To an hour where there's more warmth, blue sky and sunshine yet again today. Here's northern Scotland where we recorded some of the day's highest temperatures again yesterday. Now, some things are not going to change for the next few days. It will still be warm, still cooler and cloudier for those eastern facing coasts. It will still be dry towards the north, but further south across the southern half of the UK, we're expecting some heavy thundery showers on Friday and into the weekend. And then next week, well, it's looking very different indeed. I'll have all the details later. Thanks, Elizabeth. Again, and uh, well, there's a lot more blue sky and sunshine around again today. It feels and looks very much like late summer, particularly out towards the west. Further east, we've been tracking quite a lot of cloud. It was a misty, murky start again to the day for many of us. It's gradually burning back towards these North Sea facing coasts, but the cloud is a bit more extensive than it was yesterday, stretching from, say, Aberdeenshire all the way down to Lincolnshire and through East Anglia. And with that easterly onshore wind, it's always going to feel a bit cooler here. A bit more cloud too across eastern Wales, lifting and clearing through the afternoon. The day's top temperatures are probably towards the southeast of England inland, 25 degrees Celsius here but look at Scotland and Northern Ireland out towards the west again 23 degrees Celsius here and just the small chance of one or two showers breaking out across the south but I think you'll be unlucky to see that. Now overnight tonight then we're going to do the whole thing all over again so all of that low cloud all the moisture from the North Sea starts to wake, make its way further westwards clearest of the skies again towards the north and the west and here it's going to locally feel quite chilly again into tomorrow morning. Temperatures possibly a bit lower than this. There'll be some more mist and fog developing as well. And then tomorrow, well, a few changes. It's still dry towards the north with that high pressure hanging on. But in the south, the air turns more unstable and we could be seeing some heavy thundery showers through the afternoon. So this is how we're beginning the day then. It's a rather grey start. Once again, that low cloud burning back to the eastern facing coast once more. Showers popping up towards the south of England gradually trekking the way further westwards and some of those showers heavy and thundery particularly across South Wales and down through the southwest central southern England as well. Now temperature wise we're still up to the low 20s across the board. Of course it stays dry further north the best of the sunshine again for western Scotland, northwest England and at Northern Ireland temperatures still 22 23 Celsius here. More showers too on Saturday again pushing in from the south mostly across the southern half of the UK into southern England and Wales whereas further north again it's still dry now it's a little cooler a little cloudier than it has been but still a very decent day particularly out towards these western coasts it's more the same again on Sunday so the showers a bit more widespread again heavy possibly thundery on Sunday they'll clear away into the North Sea as we head into Monday and then we look out towards the Atlantic. This is going to be next week's weather. So it's going to turn really quite unsettled as we head through next week and all also turn colder as well. Quite a huge drop in temperature from where we have been, Anna. Thanks, Elizabeth.